Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice and to My Choice Tuesday. I really love the band Nightwish, and in particular, I think that their lead singer, Flor Jansen, is just pretty exquisite. So I wanted to listen to some more of them, and as I was digging through all of your suggestions in those YouTube comments, there were a ton of really, really good recommendations, of course, but there was one that kept standing out to me, which is why it's My Choice Tuesday, and that's How's the Heart Acoustic Version. I really like acoustic versions, especially if a band has made their own acoustic version of a song, because it lets me dig into the vocals just a little bit more, and I feel like it also helps to really focus on the message of the song. So I really wanted to do this one today. It's going to feature Floor, and Troy Donnickly, I believe, is playing guitar in this. He's one of the multi-instrumentalists in Nightwish, and he's always playing a new instrument every time I see him. Today it's going to be a guitar. He might have played that guitar in another video from before. But anyhow, Troy and Floor, and this song is by Tuomas. He called it an ode to human empathy. So I really think that this message is going to have some meaty goodness in it. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to pause for just a little bit. There were a couple of really cool things already that I'm, I'm seeing happening. Um, one, it looks like there's some really good communication going on between Flora and Troy. And that's one of the things that I like to see in bands. Nightwish, they seem like they have a really good vibe together. And that's because it's, uh, that's so important because it's a collaborative art. And he had a nice little handoff to her saying, okay, you know, it's time for you to begin. He might have possibly wanted to riff on something for longer. He could have done shorter, longer intro, I'm sure. And here he was like, yeah, okay, handing it over to you for the lead. I loved that. And also, immediately, there was a very rangy line that went over, at, I think it was about an octave and a half that Floor sang, and it was fairly quick. She was really accurate in her notes, but it was fairly quick. And she was able to do it without having a sudden jump in dynamic as well. So she didn't suddenly get louder. Um, it just seemed like she thought of this like really lovely legato line over the top, which helped her to continue to communicate the words and not have to have like a sudden, um, have like a sudden backing way of the microphone. She was just there with it the whole time. Let's go back and look at that moment. I feel like that was such a hard moment to have right away at the beginning for a vocalist, and she executed it so well. Right there. Ah, and I love, uh, she goes into a really lovely uh, higher tender area. How's the heart while it still beats? Asks a no one, another John Doe. How's the heart while it still beats? Asks a no one, what are the words? While it still beats, asks a no one, another John Doe. Ah, another John Doe, I think, is what is going on there. Ah, I like that she almost has, um, sometimes it sounds like she has like a country rock timbre in her voice even. It's just kind of, it's exquisite. She's got so many different colors and timbres that she's able to use and bring to this band. Okay, we're going to go back here. Listen to this from the beginning one more time. I promise to not stop it as much, guys. Sorry. <sighs> Just good stuff. Yeah. 
I don't think that they have done any sort of pitch correction on this whatsoever in post. Um, and that's because I hear like little tiny things that might be just slightly off, but uh, they feel so human to me. Um, that's the kind of thing that you almost always do correct in post. Um, and I think most people just don't see it. They just think that what they hear on the radio is real. Um, this I think is completely real. And like the little tiny things I'm talking about are so tiny. And that's part of what makes it feel so vulnerable and real. And so um, it's really impressive. Flora is having to do some vocal acrobatics here while still remaining open and vulnerable at the same time. Uh, she's got some really fast lines and really quick words to get out as well. So I I love that she's she's being really specific with her pitches, but she's not pushing any through. She's trying to just kind of lightly touch on each one. Um, how's the heart? Uh, I understand. I, again, Tuomas had called this an ode to human empathy, and it sounds like it's about just asking people like being willing to ask them about what's going on because that's going to help somebody. There are a lot of people who bottle up uh, sorrow, sadness. I've been one of them. And just asking people how they are is so important. So I'm hoping that it sounds like that's the message of the song about how people will bury sadness and sometimes just, just saying a word or recognizing that it's there is the best thing you can do for them. So, uh, it sounds like all of us should be asking how's the heart to more people, especially as we're pretty separated in these days. Uh, okay, message, message done here. Also, it was lovely to hear Troy come in on some harmony. I like hearing the two of them together. Um, let's go back a little bit and then keep on. Come in the fires warm, burn the rope and add some more. Okay, I'm guessing she's about to come in on another verse. It sounds like this was similar to the intro. Uh, I just want to say that acoustic guitar is actually one of my favorite instruments to listen to. I simply love it, especially uh, classical or like finger-picked guitar. I really, really love it. So this is, uh, it's not something I know a whole lot about. It's something that it's like I could sit on a couch and just watch and listen to somebody play acoustic guitar forever and ever. So this is just super, super delightful. We met where the cliff greets the sea Shared a story, took the lead Rose a brooded head and out You know where you've been there These, these words evoke a lot of thoughts. First time hearing them, we met where the cliff meets the sea, something, and then about like sharing a conversation and then took the leap. I mean, whoa. I mean, first of all, when cliff meets the sea, I thought, is somebody is somebody considering suicide at this point, right? Um, and But then taking the leap together, it sounds like maybe uh, having that conversation helped them. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And uh, it sounds like maybe instead they decided to leap into a better life together. I'm hoping that's my immediate interpretation. I haven't gone through the lyrics in depth before. So this is that initial reaction for sure. Uh, let's go back and listen to those one more time. Shared a story, took Ooh. the lead where the cliff greets. There we go. We met where the cliff greets the sea. Shared a story, took the lead. Rose a brood of head and out You know where you've been there Now there's one who came from me A child of light, another tale 
dear one Night will come but none to stay Oh, why? The answer's in the How's the heart? Underneath the silence How's the one? Drawing in the mire Okay, let's... I want to talk about Flora's technique here a little bit more. Um, even though it's it's hard sometimes to listen technique to technique and then listen to the words too. And it's almost like two different sets of the mind in the analyzation for me. Um, I really love Floor's mouth shapes. You guys have heard me talk about mouth shapes a lot. She is willing to open her mouth to get out a more clear vowel a lot of times. And she also is able to keep her mouth not entirely open, but form a really clear vowel behind that opening in the front as well. So you can tell that she's just essentially got a really good tongue position for clear vowels too. But if you look here, just in how's the heart, a lot of people would keep their jaws in position and say, how's the heart? Or maybe even sing it like that. And she's going, how's the heart? She has such a wide and wide and both wide this way and vertical position for that vowel. Uh, look at this again, right, right here. Uh, how's the heart underneath the silence? How's the wall? Yeah, it's it's really nice to see that much opening. Uh, it, you don't have to have that kind of opening to sing well, but it does help it just to be more clear. And she has a natural, um, a natural deep and warm quality to her voice but then she has this clarity that's on the front which is just super gorgeous she's able to also pull in like a pillowy um ethereal quality on top as well which is really fantastic she's got so many different options again um so it's really nice to see that she's being that specific about that clarity of, of the words and the message love it love it love it let's go back just a little bit more the other thing that's really interesting in here is she really isn't backing away or coming forward into the mic very much at all. So when she's going again through this wide range, it's it's all her and her own like inner compressor, if you wanna talk about music production. Um, she's controlling those dynamics very carefully. The answer's in the how's the heart underneath the silence. That part is hard to sing. <laughs> you can tell, uh, probably because she's really going into her support system. The way she has her hands that are on her thighs that can help to also sort of just center the body. But if you look at her diaphragm, so like right just above her belt, you'll see it engage and really um, when she breathes in, you'll see her fill up down there. You have to kind of let your mid area go to get a really, really good breath. Uh, you have to just let it expand, which, a lot of women feel a little self-conscious about doing. I'm really glad to see that Floor is not concerned about that at all. And it's nice to be able to actually see, since she has a tighter shirt, you can see that expansion. And then when it engages again, I'm going to go back so we can all watch that again together. Did you guys see it when I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm engaging again. Oh, again, engaged again. So the diaphragm is uh, going essentially like down and also out a little bit when she's taking the air in. And then there are muscles around it that engage it as it's going out. And that's what you see when it kind of has like a little, like, um, like a little, uh, almost like a bounce there. So that's the muscles around the diaphragm engaging, saying, don't let all the air go right away. We're going to have a nice controlled stream of air instead of just, air being gone. Uh, and Floor is a master of breath control, so I'm not surprised at all to see this really great uh, diaphragmatic and abdominal muscle work. Oh, 
Her voice, guys. I got shivers in there, and you think like the the long lyric part before is really beautiful, but the shivers came right here for me, and I feel like it makes me really excited to hear somebody who has that agility in their voice, which she's shown in the song too, and in the earlier parts. But then the way she can just kind of like boop on the top, and it's just really carefully and with so much precision, and the way you hear her breath hovering hovering over all the rests here she's like bridging the rest she's always got this breath flow seeming like the it's like the breath is the line rather than necessarily the singing the the actual phonation it sounds like her breath is the thing that's carrying it all through and maybe that's what gives me shivers I don't know it's hard to explain exactly what about about Flora Jansen uh makes a person shiver but uh, it definitely has an effect on tons of people and she just sounds awesome. Let's go back a little bit. Listen to that hovering of the breath. The heart underneath the silence How's the wall drowning in the mire Let us sound a human pain Come on in the fire's war How's the heart underneath the silence How's the in the mire let a sound human pain come on in that was cool so she was just singing the lead from before an octave lower which meant that when troy came in and harmonized he was actually above her pitch uh that i really like that approach to this arrangement very very fun um and I'm guessing she looks like she just took a breath getting ready to sing it up the octave. Probably. I'm not sure. I might be totally wrong on this, guys. Um, well, let's go back. Appreciate this, uh, having Troy's voice above hers for a moment. And then we'll see what happens. Uh, we're gonna go back and listen to that again. Um, I know, oh no, I always feel sad when we get to the ends of songs. Um, so I was really mesmerized by her. It wasn't, it was mixed belting, um, but it's not, I, like when I think of belting, I think about something that's just like lasering through with tons of extra focus. She has this extra dome of air with the bell. It's just such a great combination of timbres that I love, 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 love. Uh, it was so fun to hear that with power and know that she can go to the operatic side, but she's also trained this mixed belt up that has that dome. It's like a lot of times if you train in one style, if you do something uh, or if you train in two different styles, if you associate a certain thing with one style and a certain thing with another style, if you do something from the other style, you'll kind of flip into it. Now, she was right here. It sounded like she took a little bit from the classical styling and mixed it into this mixed belt, essentially. So it's like mixed in all the good ways. Uh, very, very exciting sound to me. 
Oh, and yeah, I was totally right. They went up an octave. Booyah. In how's the heart underneath the silence? How's the one trying to hear the mayor? Let us sound the yellow man. Come in the fire swarm by the Roman man. Some how's the heart? How's the one drowning in the mayor? Let us sound the yellow All right, one last thing before we finish this up. Uh, I love the smile that she has. She has a smile in her tone all of the time. The smile, um, a smile can be a really good, sh uh, I would say sensation, but also kind of like an inner mouth shape to have for singers. It helps keep the soft palette up more in the back. She also has a little bit in the front, but uh, it doesn't usually get so wide that it distorts the sound. Sometimes smiles can be distorting or can lock your jaw. Hers is really natural and I feel like you see it in the front, but I hear it in the back even more. That's that's part of what I think makes her tone quality really gorgeous is the smile. And look at the way she ends this song. Oh, let's go back like this. Um, she ends it by like almost smiling off the note. It's kind of cool. Come in the fire swamp by the rope and <laughs> and you can tell that Troy is just so happy and just loves playing with her too. It's delightful. What more can I say? Uh, actually, I can say a lot more about why it's delightful. But I think that the big thing to take away from that is that it is delightful. Vocally, technically, very, very delightful. But at the same time, you have a message uh, that is about talking to people. It's about asking how people are doing. You know, if somebody feels down, like, ask them, help them out. I love that this is the message that Tuamas was wanting to communicate. And I love that it's Flora and Troy that are communicating this too, because you get such a feeling of warmth and love from both of them. And it just, like, makes my heart feel better to listen to it. So fantastic overall performance. I love that it was so stripped down. I didn't feel like there was any extra production on it. It was just them sounding gorgeous and letting us really dig into both their voices and the song. Uh, thank you, all of you, for your recommendations. If you want to keep making them, please do. You can put those in the comments below this video. And uh, let's see, you can also find me here on YouTube every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time is when we have premieres. You can come and find us in the live chat. And you can find me on Patreon too. And if you want to learn more about music or singing, you can check out my website, thecharismaticvoice.com. I hope to see you somewhere soon.